Hi guys, I just want you to know that now you can join my channel uh, on your PC or your phone. Uh, you would click the join button and you can scroll and you can join for $9.99 each month and get early access to all videos. And you can also um, get one question answered by me every month. Um, and you'll get access to all the extendeds. There is also another tier uh, for $14.99. Uh, you will get two questions answered every month and access to uh, all the extended readings and early access to just all videos. So take advantage now. Uh, it's here for you. Thank you. Take care. So it's Elle here to do a quick love reading. So it's going to be strictly about love. Uh, I think I will do a finance reading also. All right, so let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so what are the love messages for Aquarius in terms of a past person? Okay, so someone that you have history with. What are the love messages for Aquarius? For a past person, okay, so they addicted. Either you or the other person. Somebody is completely addicted, Aquarius. What are the messages for Aquarius for a past person? Manipulative behavior. So the addiction comes out of um, lack of maturity, fear, and ego. And so they manipulate the energy between the two of you by keeping you stuck. Maybe you interpret it as love or devotion. But it's just manipulation. Um, they know that they really don't have anything on the other side of them to give. They don't have anything in the other hand. It's like, look at this hand, but don't look at it. It's, they don't have anything. You know, it's empty. Both hands are empty. Um, therefore, it's like, okay, well, I don't have anything to offer, but I can use my emotional and mental manipulation. Let's see what else is going on for Aquarius in terms of a past person. What's happening? I pray for someone just like you and now I fumble I fumble the relationship right I pray for somebody like you and I just wasn't ready for it I didn't know I would actually get it it you know the same you know be careful what you wish for and what you pray for right um, someone prayed for a person just like you they got it and then they completely messed over it last card for the person from the past what is the energy from a past person for the Aquarius. I'm very insecure and we talked about that. Fear, fear, you know, ego and fear and making decisions, fear-based decisions is always gonna be the wrong decision because it's gonna come from a place of insecurity, you know, a place of uh, lack, you know, no confidence. So this person is very insecure, okay? They don't feel secure with themselves. Again, back to that, when I said it's nothing in both hands. They want you to look at this hand, but it's, you know, acting as if there's something in this hand, but it's, it's nothing in both hands, you know? So, it's, you know, they, they're insecure about maybe what they have to offer, which is, could be very little, but very little to nothing. Um, so they manipulate the energy just to keep you stuck. What is the energy for Aquarius dealing with a new person? What is the energy? For Aquarius dealing with a new person. What is the energy for Aquarius dealing with a new person? Um, this is just about the sex, okay? So if someone could feel that way about you, you feel that way about them, it's new. Maybe it's just about, you know, just fun times, either for you or the other person. Let's see. What is the energy for Aquarius with a new person? Gold digger. Ooh, so it's just about the sex, and you're gonna pay me while I'm doing that, and I have to stay with my family. So, someone is already married, couple, you know, they don't have much to offer, and they're telling you they have to stay with their family or they have to stay uh, where they're comfortable. Now, the family also could be interpreted as I have to stay with this friend group. We, we, we hang out with each other, we're all single, we all, you know, play guys or play girls, and we just, you know, that's what it is. I'm, I have to stay with them. You know, I want to stay with them. What is the energy for Aquarius dealing with a new person? 
forgive me you know maybe they're telling you they're saying forgive me you know maybe I, I, I came off you know the wrong way or maybe you're misinterpreting or there's a you know miscommunication yeah um, because what I really am about is just sex money fun times and I'm not trying to change that vibration about me right now um, let's get some energy in here for the past person what should the Aquarius know in terms of a past individual? Uh, what is the advice for Aquarius? And then we're going to talk about what this person wants to say to you. What is the advice for Aquarius? What is the advice for Aquarius? Um, this person just wants to hook up my way, explore. They don't have much to offer but words, maybe sexual encounter. Maybe you're going to travel or move somewhere or do something with them. This is what they have to offer right now. Will this always be what they have to offer? I don't know. You don't know either. But right now, what they have to offer is just, you know, activity. You know, sexual activity, fun activity, activity that really doesn't have anything, you know, um, it's not really grounded or rooted in any, anything right now. The uh, Page of Wands talks about maybe a sexual encounter, it, it, you know, a whirlwind romance. It turns out, you know, fun, and then it fizzles you know, just as soon as it starts. All right, one more card for a past energy with the Aquarius. So we know what the past person has to offer. Nothing. Rebirth, yeah. So this person definitely wants you to forgive them, absolve them, stop holding this against them. Stop saying that. Stop asking me that question. Stop asking me these tough questions. Stop, um, you know, putting boundaries up. Just let go and... And be with me. You know, that's what this person is basically saying with the death card. This person also could be going through some type of karmic awakening. Like they're realizing, you know, how they treated you. Um, they're, they're realizing that they need to go in a new direction. They need to go with the flow. Now, are they doing it? That is yet to be determined. But they're realizing that maybe they just didn't treat you in the best manner. And they're getting all of that karmic reward, negative karma, karma, um, you know, for misusing, mistreating you, other people, um, misleading you willingly, knowingly, you know. Um, let's see what the new person wants to say to the Aquarius. Or what should the Aquarius know? Gift to the world, advice, layer. So, Queen of Cups, this person could be kind of closed off emotionally. They come off as maybe a little aloof, self-centered. They're in the place of trying to develop you know themselves maybe their spiritual self um this person could have psychic you know abilities or this could be you or you need to listen to your intuition your intuition is screaming at you right now but you want to shut it down because you're hoping and wishing and praying for the best in this relationship or more than what it has been presented to you you had destruction so it could be the tower like all of a sudden you're going to realize something or you know that something was built on faulty or shaky ground in the destruction in the rubble you'll be able to either rebuild or move on you'll see something clearly you've been in this falsehood this false tower of maybe we're building something it's going to go well we're working this out this person really wants me they want a long-term relationship or vice versa this is what they've been saying about you and it looks like there will be all of a sudden, you know, um, an upheaval of emotions, an upheaval of conversation, an upheaval. Something will come back up for it to upheaval. I mean, I mean, it's always been there, you know. It's always been, you know, beneath the surface and now it's going to come up and you guys are going to have to deal with it, hopefully deal with it correctly and um, maybe you can move on together or apart. Uh, let's see what the future holds. Well, let me get one future card for the past person. Official person. So this person kind of deals with you. Yes, no, maybe answers. Or this is what you're doing. Or it's mutual. Or this person is just really not ready to let their guard down because they're too emotionally immature. Um, they're very manipulative. They want what they want. They're set in their ways. Um... This is a person who is all about business, the business of themselves and no one else. This is somebody who's selfish, you know. Um, 
Let's see, what is the energy for a new person that the Aquarius is dealing with? New person, new person. A message of concern is yes, like, okay, so you get that conversation, you know, and it causes for concern. Now you, you can start to work through, you know, um, you start to work through whatever this relationship will be or what it isn't. Um, you can start to see past the facade. Maybe that you put up, the other person put up. Maybe misrepresentation, mis miscommunication also. Maybe you you didn't read right or they didn't read right, you know. Um, let's see. What spirit wants to tell the Aquarius about a past person? And I think we're going to do an extended reading here. See what the spirit want to tell Aquarius about the past person. What does spirit want to tell Aquarius? Okay. All right, Four of Swords. What does spirit want to tell Aquarius about this past person? Eight of Pentacles. The Six of Swords. Yeah. All right. Let's see. What does spirit want to tell Aquarius about this new person? What does spirit want to tell Aquarius about a new person? The Queen of Cups coming out again. Okay, then when you listen to your intuition. Two of Swords. Okay. Um, and what else do they want to tell Aquarius? Ace of Pentacles. Alright. Alright, so we're going to go over to the extended and talk about what this... It looks like there's more promise with a new person. If you are dealing with a new person. The past person. I don't know. You know... We're going to talk about it though. Uh, meet me over at the website level. The extended link will be in the pin to the top of the comments. The extended is less than $5. Take advantage if you want more clarity about past and present person or new person. Um, let's get you some advice before we get out of here. What is the advice for Aquarius? Advice for Aquarius with both people. Let's see. Advice. Advice for Aquarius. So the King of Cups and the Fool. Um, you've got an energy of might just not settle, not in their emotions, and not mature. Also, someone could feel like you know you're the one, but they're not ready to sacrifice anything to have the relationship. They're not ready to take the leap of faith. You know, they have a lot going on. They have a lot of people that maybe they, they keep around. This is a person who has the friends with the benefits. Um, they also keep exes around. This will feed the ego. There's somebody who's just not ready, you know. Um, yeah, they're not ready here. Uh, let's see, one more card here. It says, follow your heart, Aquarius. Manifest. Okay, so if you want a husband, because sometimes the King of Cups can come up as a husband, you're going to have to take the leap of faith in a new direction. You're going to have to let something new develop. So you trying to wait for or wait for transformation with the past person, no. You're going to have to manifest your heart's desire and know that you can actually have it. You know, you're going to have to really leave something behind. Um... You're gonna to have to go from zero one. All right, so you're gonna to have to take do some do something in order. You have to really get um, you know some emotional balance about yourself. Also, you may have to also cut out some of the people that you deal with and you talk to and keep up all this different energy. You won't have to get to a place of being grounded, really grounded in you, grounded in your emotions, your your mind. You might need to do some grounding exercises. You could be dealing with a Libra. You could be dealing with an Aries. An Aquarius like yourself, a Virgo, another Aquarius, or Aquarius coming up again. Um, you're dealing with somebody who uh, they can't give you what you want, not right now. They're just not able. And if you really want a husband, you're going to have, a, have to let something new develop. And you're going to have to listen to spirit. And you're going to have to move when spirit gives you that information, that channel. You have to start to actually start to do the manifestation work. You know, um, that's what I have for you, Aquarius, in terms of advice 
All right. So go over to the website and do the extended reading uh, or get the extended reading. I just don't feel like this should be extended. Let's just go ahead and, and, and figure this out. Let's see. I, don't know, I just feel like extendeds need to be like prompted towards me. I'm just not feeling it. It's like I feel like, okay, let's just go ahead and finish the reading, right? So let's talk about these cards. Um, so we pull these cards for the future energy or, or the advice or whatnot. Four of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Six of Swords for the past person. So the four and the eight don't go together unless it's good karma. And, and, it, and the only way you can get that is if someone really changes their direction, really allows for um, absolute destruction of the ego. You know, you could be dealing with uh, Gemini, um, Libra, anybody, Aquarius like yourself. It's just like somebody wants to, they feel like this is a temporary cycle of... Um, you know, not talking to you uh, because you suspect, you know, infidelity or you suspect that they are going to waste your time even more. And that's why you are keeping them, you know, at bay or not talking to them at all. And they very well may want to come back in and put some work in, but work to do the same thing over and over again. It's, you know, um, doing something over and over again or allowing a relationship to come back over and over. Um... Six of Swords, they also, again, you know, not as emotionally mature, so they have unexpressed love that they have for you. They haven't really put it into words, you know, how they really, really feel for you. Someone who would go to this length to manipulate you, to hold you, you know, in a stand, you know, at a standstill, or keep a relationship stagnant, of course, it's their nature to be manipulative. But also, you know, um, there has to be some type of love or even hate there. But that, both of those could be transposed. Love and hate. It's just like they have a, they have real emotions for you. Um, because you don't do this type of stuff or you don't do this type of work for somebody that you barely care about, you know. Um, they do love you. They do love you, but their love is toxic because they, they just, it's like failure to learn a lesson. And this new person, the universe just wants you to listen to your intuition. You may need to take a step back from this. Um, you need to learn how to cooperate and maybe even go into relationships with negotiation, understanding that, you know, if you're new in someone's life, you don't automatically come first. Um, that this is opportunity for you know, maybe a real relationship to develop. But all it is, is opportunity. What you do with the opportunity is what you and your person do with it. It also could read that maybe sex happened a little too quickly. You might need to slow down. Um that maybe the relationship is having very little progression right now at this time. Let's see what the past person really wants to say to the Aquarius or what they got going on in their life. What does the past person have going on? Oh, okay. So they really wanted to tell you this. That they think you're sweet. You're very sweet. Okay. Um, what is the past person? Okay. In love with two people. So it could be that they're in love with two people. Or they're just of two minds about everything. You know, they want to come towards you. They want to make an offer. And then they don't. What does this past person want to tell the Aquarius? You know, if it sounds like a lie, it's probably a lie. Yeah, manipulative behavior. Maternity. They feel safe with you. They're like you would be a good catch to bring home to their mother. They feel like you're very understanding. Um, they're missing you. A masculine could be mis missing you. <laughs> they want to text you or texting you. They want to come out of weeks of no communication. It's in the reverse. So they, they want to come out of this. You know, but no. 
Um, and you may be saying, text me, don't call me. You know, um, you may be not wanting to give this much of your attention. They feel that. They feel that they've messed up. They don't know what to do to get out of it. And I don't think they're capable. All right, so let's see what a new person wants to say to you, Aquarius. What's this new person? Or what's going on in their life right now? Let's see. Finish. All right, so they need to finish something or something's not finished. Promises, maybe. Um, maybe they made you promises or they need to finish up something that maybe they promised to someone else. Bothered. Um, they could be something in their past could not be finished and maybe they got another door open somewhere in another relationship drunk sex and angry I, I think I mentioned that like sex may have happened a little too quickly angry um, someone got angry when having drunk sex or someone is angry or someone said something maybe something wasn't a good idea it might be a good idea to finish up or Someone could be mixed race or someone's of two minds about something. Just all mixed up in their head. Yeah, because somebody says anything. We were saying, I was saying that like, maybe there was miscommunication here. That someone was really trying to tell someone that they wanted to be friends with benefits. Or they just want to keep it like in a friend zone or, you know, we're special friends or whatnot. They don't really want to take it anywhere else or... It's just not going there right now. Um, let's see what the future energy holds for this past person and the new person. What is the future energy for the past person? What's going to happen in the future with this past person? Sudden wealth. You know, all of a sudden they're going to start to feel something. You know, or there's going to be like just... Something's going to manifest for them. Family room. Um, secrets. All of a sudden they want to speak or they want to talk or they want to bring you into. We did have that. Like they feel like they want to bring you to their family. You're going to get a good news message in seven days, seven, the most seven weeks, seven days. All of a sudden, all of a sudden they want to do something. Can we clarify what this is? Can we clarify? Okay. Occupation. They're, all of a sudden, they're going to be occupied with you, honey. They just, it's all going to be about you. Everything is going to be. Yeah. So they may be in some restri restrictive energy where they can't get to you. Where there's no communication or you're not reaching out and they don't know if they should. But they want to create something all of a sudden. They want to make a decision to create, to maintain. Like they want to start to give you messages or open up. All of a sudden. So this past person may want to open up all of a sudden. Yeah, and stop lying. Maybe come out of this negative false person energy that they presented for themselves. What is the energy for the new person? What is the future energy for the new person for Aquarius? Alright, let's see. Pathway. So something may happen. I don't know if you guys go on a different path or something new may develop. Yeah, this person may kind of ghost, yeah, leave you in despair. Maybe because like they, they just didn't, they weren't looking for the same thing you are, or you weren't looking for the same. Yeah, you know, a male could just go the other way. It's no strings attached, so it's easy to leave. This person can have a relationship somewhere else. Yeah, that that was hard work or karmic, or they want to go work on that. And I feel like they'll be back. Yeah, they'll be back. Final advice for Aquarius dealing with a past person. With the future energy being that they will reach out and start to express themselves. What is the advice here for the Aquarius? What is the advice here? Uh, consistency came out. So the Page of Pentacles. Vibrant. The Queen of Wands. And abundance. So it's like maybe you guys will have opportunity to create something. Maybe someone is going to be more consistent with you. Um, maybe somebody wants a healthy type of connection. This person had a lot of choices to make in terms of love and they're choosing you. You're the queen of wands. You're the person that vibrates the highest or the at a high frequency. 
they put you on some type of pedestal. They think that you're absolutely abundant, beautiful, uh, gorgeous. There's growth with you. That is the advice for you. Make sure that someone is consistent, okay? Make the, make sure that someone is definitely consistent. All right, let's see what is. Make sure that someone is consistently working on themselves or working to change. You're going to be attracting a lot of different energy. Psychic abilities. This person could even be trying to come towards you. You you feel their energy, abundance. Um, this person wants to get a lot of shine, and they may want to come back with this small offer also, or these words of what they'll do. But you got to make sure that they maintain a level of consistency in terms of change. And what is the advice in terms of dealing with a new person who may not want this relationship, may even ghost, or you ghost them, Aquarius? No. Um, guy. Alright, so this person may just want things to be how they are right now. They don't really want it to change. Um, or they're not ready for a significant change in the relationship. They want things to be the status quo you know if it is this then it should be that it shouldn't be anything else um yeah this person is kind of like the lone wolf uh the eternal bachelor we saw that where they were saying they got to stay with their friend group or they want to stay single um this is somebody who doesn't settle easily they have high standards and um, they know that they're maybe handsome or they have a lot to bring to the table Look at the last card. Um, yeah, this person is definitely in the energy of um, just not ready to settle down. They could be kind of cut off from their emotions right now. And they could kind of ghost you. Could be dealing, dealing with a Capricorn. Scorpio. Yeah, there's a choice. There's somebody else coming in between this relationship also. And that may be why they uh excuse me um they tell you that uh they ghost you somebody comes in between the relationship another sexual partner yeah they haven't really gotten forgiveness for some from someone yeah and they may go back to that person so this is what i have for you in terms of love the old person, the new person. Uh, it just seems for to me, I mean, if you wanted my advice, Aquarius, you need to just stay by yourself right now. <laughs> it might be just best to just pick up a book. Um, get some, you know, podcasts going. Um, focus on you. Let's see what's going on. I know for some of you, it's like, oh, I've been doing that. You know, well, then this reading is not for you. Yeah, the moon card. It's a lot going on behind the scenes, Aquarius, that you don't know. You can't see. Your dreams are being vivid or very vivid right now. You need to start writing them down. There could be some hidden element here. There also could be a hidden enemy, a frenemy here. Um, psychic abilities. Um, also, you're, you're, if you're a woman, your menstrual cycle could be synced up with the moon cycles. Yeah, there's a lot going on behind the scenes. Like someone's keeping a lot from you. A lot of different people. A lot of different fires that they keep going. Um, this is a per the playboy. Playgirl. They're not ready to let this go. Um, two fives coming up. And then we have the hierophant that governs the five. Especially with this new person. They're not ready to let something go. Or to let you know the lifestyle go here. Um, they may have manipulated you and said things. And did nothing. They didn't, you know, show, you know, they didn't uh, prove what they said, or they didn't uh, show good on what they said they would do. This is somebody who's not making any type of decision. This could even indicate some sometimes a person being in and out. Also, you have the ten of wands. This could even be karmic. The relationship started too fast with no grounding here, and that's why the tower came out. It's just more so. Um, this person doesn't want what you want. They don't really want to talk about it because they don't want it to turn into an argument. Um, and they have other options. Yeah. 
um, they feel like the right thing to do is just to maybe remove themselves and kind of let it dissipate all by itself. This is what I have for you. Go over to the website, book your own reading there, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you're in a place where you're trying to heal from something, if you're trying to protect yourself from something, get the amethyst or the black tourmaline uh, bracelets at the website level. The link is below. Keep in mind, if you buy any one bracelet, you get um, a question answered also via the tarot by me. So you get the bracelet and a question answered. All right, so take care. Many blessings to you. Bye.